is News 5 Sports with Matt Pritchard. It was back in August that Grant and I started Friday Football Fever. With the calendar shifting to December, that means it's time to wrap up with state championship Saturday and 4A is where we are going to begin tonight. Pine Creek and Pueblo South. Here we go. Pine Creek, the defending champs. Pueblo South looking for their first state title in school history. They got after it fast. First quarter, second possession. Zach Cozzolino connecting with Marcel Barbie. We have been saying that all season long, and this is why. Off to the races. First touchdown of the game. Colts leading 7-0. They weren't done. Cozzolino to the air again, hitting Jesse Anzar this time. 35 yards. And the Colts take a 13-0 lead into the locker room. Second half, bit of a different story. Pine Creek comes out and scores on their first possession of the half. David Moore, the third, taking it in from three yards out. And the Eagles are on the board, but the ensuing kickoff, going for a touchdown. Thomas Panunzio, nine yards to the house. Colts back up 19-7. A scary moment here, though, in the fourth quarter. Pine Creek quarterback J.C. Coulter is going to scramble a little bit, finding some room, cuts back, and then is hit hard. Down onto the turf he goes by Ryan Montoya. Coulter is out. He did walk off under his own power, but the unnecessary roughness penalty puts the Eagles on the doorstep. Very next play, backup QB Gavin Herbert keeping it and scoring. 19 14 Colts with eight minutes left. But the Colts put together a solid drive and cap it off with a Cozzolino keeper from the one. That's a touchdown and that would do it. 25 to 14, the Colts celebrating their first state title in school history. And for more on that with Pueblo South, we go to Grant Meach. Matt, there's going to be a party in the Steel City, the likes of which Pueblo has never seen before as the Pueblo South Colts win their first state title in school history, 25 to 14 over the defending 4A champs, Pine Creek and boy did the Colts do it in impressive fashion. I think we might have, you know, shocked, shocked a few people. I think we expected to be there, but I think we needed that just so we understood that we could play in this game, we could play in this environment, and uh, you know, it was just special. We've dreamt about this since we were kids, and we've been working for four years in high school. I mean, this is the ultimate goal for every team, and it's just something to be able to do it ourselves. Uh, it's a great feeling. You know, these guys came out here and supported this team from the start of the game, and I just want to thank all of Pueblo, you know what I mean? That's my hometown. And, uh, you know, to be able to bring this bring this home to Steel City, it's just a great feeling, and I want to let everybody know it's home. Interesting dynamic, no doubt about it, for the Pueblo South Colts as they now move down to 3A next year. So maybe if it is their only 4A title, boy, did they go out in style. From Mile High Stadium, Grant Meach, News 5 Sports. Thank you, Grant. Congrats to the Colts, and hey, great season, Eagles. We head to 3A. Palmer Ridge against Erie in the 3A title game at Falcon Stadium. Our hometown team started fast. First offensive play for the Bears and Ty Evans finding Anthony Roberson 50 yards down the sideline. It's seven nothing. We're pretty pumped on the sideline too. Defense gets the three and out. Evans right back to it, handing off to Noah Brom, making it 14 nothing. Bears starting to run away with it, but at 14 seven, Erie's Noah Roper scrambling out left and just a superhuman play to huck up the prayer. Jacob Mansdorfer on the other end. What a play, and we are tied yet again. Bears go back to the air. Evans to Roberson. If it worked once, why not twice? All the way back into the end zone. Palmer Ridge back in the driver's seat. And then on the other side of half, Evans to Andrew Miller. Hit hard at the end. He'd be okay, a little shook up. An unnecessary roughness, of course, called there. And hey, they got the revenge. It's Sherry on top to finish the punt block. Recovering it for a touchdown in the end zone. That's Palmer Ridge, your 3A state champions with a 46-21 win over Erie. Let's hear from the Bears. Thinking back to, you know, when you're a little kid playing football in the front yard and dreaming about moments like these um, when they come and you just think about everything that's gone into it. You know, my whole team, the whole coaching staff, it's, it's an insane feeling. I'm just proud of our whole team. Our motivation was just get one more win so we can get seven more days with our brothers. And um, that carried us all the way to this point. And when we got here, we knew it was the end, one way or the other. And um, we just had to make sure that we ended up on top. Boy, did they. It's the first title in school history for Palmer Ridge as well. So now we need to update our bracket. For the final time this season, we take a look and we start in 3A, which is what we were just talking about. Palmer Ridge, congrats, guys. You move in to that top spot. 
It's got to feel good. It feels good to put you there. And then we go down to 4A, like we talked about at the beginning. Pueblo South over Pine Creek. We knew this was going to be a great matchup between two great teams. The defending champ against Pueblo South, a team that had never won a state championship. That is over. They finally get it. And hey, just for uh, cleanliness sake, let's do 5A Pomona. Winning over Eagle Crest today. Grant Meach is sad because that's his alma mater, but that's okay. We are happy that it is finally all together. All the brackets, everything. I mean, we, like I said, we started in August. Here we are in December. Are you going to miss it, Laura? Well, I am because I yeah. only got to do football once a week, but I know that's you right. guys are kind of breathing in, just relaxing. We do, but this is the moment. Like, you know, all this yeah. hard work for the teams, for us, for everybody. I mean, it's just, it was a great season. We so. love to see the Pueblo South under oh, dog yeah. story, you know? Oh, absolutely. Springs yeah. versus Pueblo? Can't write it, it any better. All right, thanks, Matt, and we'll be right back.